In this video, I'm going to be showing you the simplest keyword research prompt that's going to help you find endless content ideas, whether it's for your YouTube channel, blog, or social media content. So this is going to be a quick and short video. So let me know if you guys like this, but let's go ahead and jump in and show you the exact formula that you can use to get this perfect keyword research output. Okay, so this is the first prompt that we're going to use. Act as a keyword research expert and give me 25 different seed keyword ideas for the category of XYZ. So you can put whatever category or topic that you're in so you can find some seed keyword ideas and go from there. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and put in credit repair. Also going to do the same thing for ChatGPT if anyone is using that. And I'm also on the free version as of right now or of the making of this video. All right, cool. So we got some different seed keyword ideas. So we have credit repair services, how to fix bad credit, improve credit score, and you get the drill. So same thing here, we get credit repair services, fix bad credit. They're almost pretty similar, but from here, you can go ahead and use this next prompt. All right, so for this next idea, I got this one from a SEO and also kind of website guru. His name is Wes, he's on YouTube. I'll make sure that I give him credits in the description below, but this prompt is actually insanely powerful. So I say, give me 40 semantically relevant, but unique topics under the main category of Let's say one of the topics here that we found was credit monitoring services. And you can choose anything here like credit per scams, credit per tips, credit per laws, and then give me 15 different variations of that topic that have a different search intent. So the purpose of why you need to have a different search intent is that you're not creating similar content every single time. They all have like their own unique perspective, which can also rank on Google, or you can use that for YouTube videos or social media content. So let's go ahead and plug this in. And again, I'm using credit monitoring services for the example. So we're going to do the same thing with ChatGPT on the free version. So this is actually creating a table format for us here with all of the semantic topics. And uh, ChatGPT is doing pretty good. Claude is somewhat a little slower, surprisingly, but overall, it's still doing really well. So as you can see, we have benefits of credit monitoring. We have credit monitoring services, free credit monitoring. Then it's coming up with a bunch of subtopics or uh, search intent topics here separately that we can create content on. Same thing with Claude. So they're doing really well here. And as you can see, it's creating a ton of different potential topic ideas that we can create. And this is insanely powerful if you haven't been able to come up with any ideas in your niche. All right, so it just finished. And as you can see, we have a ton of different topics that we can create content on, and they all have their type of own intent. So from here, I could do topics on credit monitoring versus credit freezes. I could do topics on how credit monitoring works, FICO scores, and there's just no excuse not to be able to create some kind of content from all these prompts that you can use. And from here, I like to take it one step further. So depending on where you're going to be publishing, let's say it's going to be for YouTube or maybe even a blog post, then you can go ahead and use this prompt. You can say, now turn these into how-to statements. So go ahead and do that for ChatGPT and also do that for Claude. So why this is really important is that it's gonna turn these outputs into how-to statements, which you could use to create educational content. So if you're like in an educational niche, such as credit or marketing, business, finance, relationships, whatever it may be, you can create how-to statements from here and it's really, really powerful. So again, surprisingly, uh, ChatGPT is coming out with better prompts or outputs. Usually Claude isn't like this, but uh, you can continue saying to give me more. So give me more ideas based on the how to statements. All right. So yeah, these are still pretty good though. Like how to optimize credit monitoring, how to explain credit monitoring process, how to pick the best credit monitoring services, how to compare. Um, ChatGPT did a little bit better. So you can see here we have how to use credit monitoring for identity theft protection, how to choose family credit monitoring service, how to benefit families with credit monitoring, how to find cheap credit monitoring. So there's a bunch of different topics here. You obviously want to make sure that um, you should be able to write for that topic and needs to have some type of search intent or search volume. But from here, you have all these how to variations, and there's no reason why you can't create content from these outputs. So that's essentially the keyword research prompts. Um, you can continue fine tuning or you can continue messing around with this and seeing if you can come up with new and unique topics. So I'm just going to put in some random prompt here and see what happens. But I do think that this is insanely powerful for anyone who just doesn't know where to get started. So let's go ahead and just mess around and add some fun prompts. So this one says, with the ones that you like the most, you can ask 
about the biggest pain points and turn those pain points into viral title ideas. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm also going to add that into chat GPT. So I'm doing this one for like YouTube videos. I guess I don't really like it too much, but again, we're just having fun with this. So we have some ones that chat GPT picked, which was the pain point was difficulty in finding reliable credit monitoring services. The viral title idea is unlocking peace of mind, five secrets of finding your idea, uh, ideal credit monitoring service. Breaking free, the ultimate guide to accessing. So yeah, I don't really like these too much. Um, maybe this one, FICO made easy. Seven foolproof ways to monitor your credit health. That one is actually pretty good. But yeah, just mess around, have fun with these prompts and see what you can come up with. And uh, let's look at what Claude gave us. Cool. So for, it gave us one for topic one, best credit monitoring services, the how-to statement, viral title ideas, the identity theft nightmare, how to protect yourself with the right credit monitoring service. Don't let identity thieves strike again. Find the best credit monitoring service for your peace of mind. Okay, so those are okay. Uh, let's see if we have some other ones here. Protect your real estate empire, how to choose a credit monitoring service. The credit monitoring hack that can save you thousands on loans and insurance. Okay, this one is actually pretty good. The smart way to slash your loan and insurance cost. The beginner's guide to credit monitoring. That's not too bad. So yeah, some of them are pretty good. Some of them are pretty bad. Um, but you know, you get the gist of this whole thing. And again, that was just actually based off of one category or one topic. You can keep adding this prompt and then just replace it with another topic here. So we can say instead of credit monitoring services, we can do credit repair software. And from here, this should be able to help you create endless content ideas. So just go here and then we'll do that again for chat GPT and just repeat this process over and over again until you have a list of content ideas. You can actually add this into like a spreadsheet or a CSV file and just use this until you end all of your ideas. And I hope that this prompt was actually helpful for you. Or if you have any like ways you can tweak it or fine tune it, go ahead and drop that in the comment section below because I'm still trying to find better prompts for you and also for myself because I love doing this stuff. But let's go ahead and look at what it gave us. So yeah, it gave us credit per software reviews, credit per features, credit per software for businesses, free credit per software. So another thing you can do to make sure that everything looks fine is you can actually grab that you, uh, keyword and then go into incognito mode and just put that into search and see if there's any articles around this. So yeah, we have like best credit per software, score SEO videos. So just make sure that it's something that you can actually write and it has its some kind of search intent with Google. All right, so that sums up the keyword research hack that I've been using to find endless content ideas. If you guys want to watch an entire video, you can also watch this video up here where I show you every single step on how to find endless content ideas using a five-step framework. So I'll see you guys in that next video. Thanks.